Wow. Good morning. I was woken up at 7 a.m. this morning and it's currently 7.30 a.m. Ugh, and I look fantastic. Today and tomorrow are actually very important days that I really want to take you guys on with me. I'm getting my stem cell transplants. I'm getting my stem cells back, actually. I'm getting five bags of stem cells today and I'm getting five bags of stem cells tomorrow that I handed in a couple weeks ago, if you can remember. If you don't remember, then I recommend watching this video. It is quite like, it's, it's like a rebirth of your body. You're rebooting your body and to some people, it is a very emotional roller coaster and to others, it's just another day of treatment. People can experience it in a different way. What is very nice about getting your stem cells though is that you are allowed a person in the room because it can be such an emotional roller coaster because you're literally rebooting your body. Um, so I think at around 9.30, 10-ish, I have my person coming in today. Hopefully with some iced coffee because I really want iced coffee. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do today and tomorrow. We're rebooting my system. I'm not nervous yet. I'm not feeling emotional yet, but I don't know if that's gonna come later, but we're just gonna document this all because it is an important part and it is one of the last things that I have to do to get better. And yeah, I had my last chemo yesterday, stem cells today and tomorrow. I'm now realizing that you are on top of this system right here, so you probably heard a lot of background noise. They woke me up at 7 a.m. to do the cleansing of my veins and all that. That takes about two hours, and after that we can start with the stem cells. It's kind of like a really cool thing that's going to be going on, so let's see how that's going to go today. I'm going to hop back into my bed, though, and try to sleep for another, like, 30 minutes. It's going to be an exhausting day, so... Let's go. Good morning. Breakfast is being served. I just heard I'm getting a room update, so they're cleaning that room, I think. It's a bigger room, a lot more windows than just this. And we're going to try to put me in that room before the stem cell transplant happens. Also, I'm having an allergic reaction to I don't even know what, but this is so ugly. Anybody know what this is? I just got it like yesterday. I'm also still trying to eat my breakfast, but somehow I'm not really feeling eating breakfast, so. The new room that I'm getting is like the room that I had when I was in quarantine here in the hospital with uh, Christmas. When I got Corona, it's like the same room but opposite side of the hospital. That was a pretty big room, so I'm excited to go to a bigger room, especially since I'm gonna be here for another like three weeks maybe. I'm so excited to see my stem cells again. I've missed them so much. They've been all alone in a freezer in another hospital. I would feel lonely too. I hope they met up with my eggs 11 little amazing in the freezer if you don't know what i'm talking about i had to freeze my eggs because chemo can make you infertile also the weather is so bad today upgrade i got my own fridge and a nice view and more space. My stem cells are in here. <laughs> so basically what's happening here is, or what you're seeing is a cooling system in which my stem cells have been brought from one hospital to my hospital. 
and it's actually minus 152 degrees which is really really cold which is why she's wearing those blue gloves and here they are taking out the first bag of stem cells and they're putting back the other ones back into the cooling system um, so that's basically what's happening here it's really cool though it's kind of like a sci-fi thing and here she's just gonna put the stem cells the bag of stem cells into a bag of hot water it's at body temperature so 37 38 degrees um, to defrost the stem cells it actually was a really really quick process and here she's massaging um, the stem cells to make the process even quicker and then she dries off the bag and attaches the bag uh, to me and here you see how the stem cells slowly make their way down to uh, well my body basically <laughs> So we're going to repeat this process a couple more times um, and then basically today I'm getting five bags of stem cells and then tomorrow I'm getting the remaining five bags. up getting five bags of stem cells back into my body to be really honest it wasn't such an emotional roller coaster for me actually I didn't really care about what was happening um, I mean I could comprehend what was happening but it wasn't really having an effect on me during getting my stem cells back though they tell you beforehand that it can taste weird or you can start to smell it. I didn't smell the stem cells. The stem cells tasted like ketchup to me. And I hate the taste of ketchup. So, but it only took about like an hour altogether, which is such a short period of time considering that it took them five hours to get them out, like two days in a row, like so 10 hours in total. And this took about an hour to get five bags of stem cells in. Sorry, the nurse came in, but um, what I was saying was that the stem cell transplant only took an hour. It tasted like ketchup, and I hate ketchup. And I decided that for tomorrow, I don't want anybody else to be there with me because I could tell that it wasn't such an emotional roller coaster to me. It wasn't something big to me, and that can vary. Your experience can be totally different from mine. There's no wrong reaction or anything like that. You react to the stem cells however you want to react to it. In my case, I just had zero reaction. The person that was with me had more of a reaction to the stem cell transplants than I had, which in a way, and I don't know if this makes sense, but took more energy out of me than if I had just been alone. So for tomorrow, I decided to cancel my best friend who was supposed to come and be with me during the stem cell transplant but i rather actually just want to be alone and just do it in all quietness and in all peace and maybe i'll just sleep throughout but it wasn't that exciting to me i heard that you know some people can actually get really emotional because it's a, re a reboot of your system and they actually celebrate being born again but i just didn't really have that strong feeling um i guess so but again there's no right or wrong in this you can feel anything you want to feel and in my case i was just very numb to it like very numb to it and it was more exhausting for me to have somebody with me by my side than to just do this completely alone 
So tomorrow I'm just gonna be completely alone. I'm not being sad, I'm really just being me. Tomorrow is the second day, five more bags, and then it's officially over. Stem cell transplant is gonna be over, and my body is going to have to reboot, and I'm probably gonna get sick of it. Like, actually sick of it. Like, my body's actually going to be sick of it because it has to, you know, start up again. But it's the start of something good and something new. So, that is kind of exciting, but I can tell I'm just not really feeling it. I think dinner's almost here, so I'm going to turn the camera off. And I'll see you guys tomorrow morning for the second day of the stem cell transplant. <sighs> Such a mouthful. Good morning. Today is day two. The stem cell transplants in the last day doesn't mean I get to leave the hospital because I'm probably gonna end up in a dip so I'll probably need to be here for another like three weeks unless I feel good that I can leave for like an afternoon or anything but last day they woke me up at 7 it's currently 8 30 they woke me up at 7 to do some cleansing they're gonna draw some blood in a couple minutes, but I'm having a very over delicious breakfast first. The second batch just got here. I just took a shower because the nurses are having their breakfast break, <laughs> lunch break, sort of. So uh, they told me I could take a shower and that they would take me off the pole, which they did. But the second batch is here. Can't wait to have it over with. I hope the taste of ketchup is not as bad as it was yesterday, but nothing really I can do about it. I'm also getting something for my skin because I was having an allergic reaction to I don't even know what. So they're gonna give me like this thing that I have to put on it and we're gonna see what it looks like at the end of the weekend, but yeah. My, my skin is not really feeling it right now. I'm just casually watching TV. I'm trying again not to lose my mind by talking to the camera. Not losing my mind though. I feel a lot more at ease today than I felt yesterday. So that's good. That's a plus. I'm also going to switch the batteries on this camera because it's almost empty. I got all my stem cells back. No ketchup taste today, which was really nice. It was just my throat that was really, really itching during every bag. But it like, the itching goes away as soon as you finish a bag. So it went well. I finished. I absolutely finished. And I'm hungry, so I'm waiting for food. Got my own noodles right here so I just need some hot water spicy noodles really spicy noodles because during chemo and hospital visits I always crave spiciness so I am currently editing this vlog and I realize that I never put an end to the vlog so here is all made from the future putting an end to the vlog basically this is what a stem cell transplant looks like when you get your own stem cells back, because there's two ways you can get a stem cell transplant. It's either from yourself, like stem cells from yourself that they retrieved earlier on in the process. So to me, that was like a couple weeks ago, or you receive stem cells from a donor. But in my case, I got my own stem cells back. I do want to clarify the taste, the taste of ketchup. It's not the stem cells that I was tasting. It, it 
I think it were the chemicals that they were, I don't know how to, I, I don't know how to explain it, but it wasn't the stem cells directly, it was the stuff that they were in. So that's what I was tasting and that's what others were smelling. Yeah, so that's about the taste. Um, so I got 10 bags of stem cells back. I got the 2.3 million stem cells back. And yeah, update on the skin. It's it's kind of still the same. I don't know what it is. And the cream that I got is not really working. Yeah, so basically that was it. I hope you found it interesting enough. If you have any questions, please comment down below and I'll see if I can answer them. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and don't forget to turn your notification on so you know whenever there is a new video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.